Howdy, howdy, y'all. So, I'm making a great big Wahoo decoy. This is gonna be used for spear fishing. This is gonna go in some pelagic water, or not necessarily pelagic water, but out into the depths to try and lure in a Wahoo. I'm really excited to be making this. I'm actually making it for another YouTuber, Key West Waterman, Aaron Young. If you haven't checked him out, go check him out. Super cool guy. I've never met him personally, but I love his channel. He seems like a really chill, cool guy. All right, so I went ahead and chopped the fins off the bottom. Cleaned up the sides a little bit on the belt sander because I need to find my center line. So I'm literally just going to kind of eyeball it here, about right there. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my forstner bit. This is a 5 8 inch bit. Punching a hole, and just kind of twisting to get that hole started. When I'm doing this, I'm being careful not to go past the center line of the fish. If you go past the center line of the fish, it will not swim correctly. And when I mean the center line of the fish, I mean this. Literally the center of the fish. So if you go below that, or above that line, it'll either tip over and sink on its side, or literally upside down. It's very important to keep it below the center line, so it tips down and sinks like so. Kind of like a sinking sub, ship. So on this back hole, I went a little deeper than I wanted to go. So to fix that, I'm going to take some super glue, drop some super glue in there, and then take some red cedar sawdust, and basically just make a plug. You're, you're just creating a backer so the lead doesn't go past that center line. Well, look at that, you can see it cracking and burning in there too. Crazy. Look at the steam coming, or smoke. Hard as a rock. I also went ahead and threw some eighth inch holes in there as well. One in the front and then two in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sides down, make it more torpedo shaped, more looking like a, not so much a block of wood and more in the shape of a Wahoo. And you can do this with a bandsaw or you can do it with a belt sander, which is what I'm gonna do it with, or you can carve it. You can sit there with a knife and, and uh, take your time. I am taking down this top fin, but before I can do that, I've got to cut the sides off and lop it off. Basically what I'm doing is using it, get my groove started, and I am sawing off the sides of these top dorsal fins. Basically just use your box blade. That's what I'm using. And I'm just gonna take down these sides Nice cut.
All right, snip it down. I got my aluminum. I don't know what gauge this is. I bought it at Lowe's. All right, now that I've got this tail fin cut out, I'm gonna score it. I'm just using a cutoff wheel for my Dremel. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is use some super glue to hold this in and then I'm gonna pin it using some brass rod. Slide that tail in. All right, so I wanna make sure this back fan doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna use a little piece of brass rod, and drill, and just shoot two holes through it. Just make sure you Nice tight fit like so. Take a pair of nippers, nip off that end, and then you can use a, a file or a piece of sandpaper or something later on once that dries and sand it flush. I right, got a Forstner bit here. I'm going backwards, I'm not going forwards to make that eye socket. Using one of these little cheap burn pens, put that lateral line in and then do some little gill work up around the head. All right, I've got all these fins cut out. This part's a little sketchy because the best way I know how to do it is with the X-Acto knife, cutting the slot and sliding that fin in. And uh, the worst thing you can do is cut your finger off. Just slowly and calmly, patiently, not rushing, cutting that slot. And you can take that fin, slide it in, just like so. Bada bing, bada boom. And repeat that process times three. Gonna see if there's enough lead in it. I don't think there is, but yeah, no. close. Needs a hair more. All right, got it. Pretty nice now. going after them minners. All right, to fill these lead cavities, I'm gonna be using Bondo, just an auto body filler. And uh, you can get like marine, one, you can use anything. You can use super glue, baking soda, super glue and sawdust, super glue and wood ash from fireplace, Bondo, 
you can mix up some fiberglass peanut butter using polyester resin or epoxy resin and micro balloons and micro spears. There's tons of stuff you can do, but Bondo, I have it. Tons of it. You can use that. Squirt a hardener in there. Mix it up until it's a uniform color. A little chilly out. Not really chilly, but it's like 60, so probably take a little bit to harden. But pack it in there real good. Get all the holes. So I got about mm, maybe four, three or four minutes of working time, and I didn't fill in these last two holes. So I just got to mix up a little bit more and fill it in. So I got this all sanded down. Now I'm just gonna go ahead with a base coat of white, cover everything up. Alrighty, well, it is time to epoxy this Oahu. Got it all painted up, got it signed. Time to get some crystal clear epoxy clear coat on it and really bring in all those colors. We're mixing up 30 cc's of this epoxy, so 15 cc's of A and 15 cc's of B. One important detail is to really make sure you mix this stuff up good. You can't really see too well. I mean, you kind of can, but. Mm. Doing a little cooked wahoo. All right, time to test this decoy out. We gotta tie it on, it's gonna be the final test. Got a real good action. Super happy with the way this came out. So that's all I got for y'all. Thanks for tuning in and watching the build on this uh, cool Wahoo. Get a turn there. There you go. And uh, I hope Key West Waterman, Mr. Aaron Young down in Key West, Florida, enjoys these decoys as much as I enjoyed making them and is able to hopefully get them out there and spear a big Wahoo or some other cool species of fish. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.